Hey everybody, Barry here again. And although I just assembled and painted the engine, I gotta disassemble it again because I don't have any internals in it. So let's tear this back apart again. I only got like one bolt in everything just to put it together and paint it to make it nice and consistent. So let's uh, stab some pistons in this thing, make some compression. All right, here's the part that I'm not a big fan of. Reusing old parts, <laughs> all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna reuse these bearings. They got 400,000 on them, but there's not a mark, but they look really good. This had like 40, 50 pounds of oil pressure at idle. I don't have any concerns with them whatsoever. So I'm just gonna clean the pistons off and stab them in there. I don't have a lot of time left. I wanna get this thing on the road by the weekend. I don't have time to wait for new bearings to come in and like hypertectic pistons and all that stuff. So we're going to put it back together. All right, here we go. Ring gaps are lined up. Bearings oiled. And our torque specification for these is 15 foot-pounds on the first pass and then 75 degrees. Number one is done. Pistons are all in. They're ugly looking, but I break cleaned them and wiped them down and all that fun stuff. It won't be very long, we'll burn off all that carbon. Let's get some lifters in it and bolt the heads on. Okay, let's get our bearings here. Pistons are in, everything's all torqued up. Next step, put on the front cover, the oil pickup windage tray and then I can put the oil pan on then and then flip it over and get the heads and stuff bolted on. Before I get into this I'd like to add 
that this little O-ring, this is Felpro part number 72401, can be kind of hard to find. It's the one that goes into the oil pump pickup tube right here. And this was a big problem with the early six liters and some of the other LS stuff, where when they were put in in a factory, the O-ring would tear, either it was like too small or too big or something, and it would tear when it go in here. And instead of pulling oil from the pickup tube, it would put it, pull air through here. And it had problem with um, low oil pressure and a lot of engines like seized up and stuff and had bearing troubles. So always replace this, whether the one on your pickup tube looks good or not, go ahead and do it. I think it's like five bucks. So it's cheap insurance. I went to put on the pan, didn't realize until it was too late that this one has a stepped bottom, this one has a flat bottom, and that step hits this before the pan actually sits flush on the gasket. So I guess we'll be using the black pan on it for now. I went to use this pan here because it was in a lot better shape than my other one and then realized it's got a stick bottom not a flat bottom and the bottom hits this here the sump before the pan hits the bottom so looks like we'll be using the black oil pan Down to the last step. Just gotta bolt the heads on and valley, and we can put it in. Sick. This is Thursday. Hopefully tomorrow evening, I'll be buttoning up the last finishing touches, assuming everything goes well. Sweet. Before I get into it, I showed Cass the picture of the purple engine with the black oil pan. And she was like, ugh, that's gross. So I guess we'll spend the next half hour painting that purple too. It'll look much better anyway. While I'm waiting for the silver to dry, I'm gonna bolt the heads on. Ooh, so pretty. Look at these things. Multi-layer steel. These are really nice. And let's see if I can put them in backwards. Nope, front. Man, that looks good. And I know it's not very sloppy mechanics of me, but new head bolts and new head gaskets. Oof.
So you saw me gun these down with this little impact driver here. I didn't put them, I didn't put any torque on them, anything like that. Just wanted to bottom them out so I don't have to go spin them all the way down with a ratchet and taking a bunch of time. Hey, it's all purple again. I really could edit out the last bit of stuff. You know, messing up on which oil pan I used and all that stuff and repainting this one. But I like to be honest about my mistakes and, you know, own up to them. I'll be the first one to admit when I've made a mistake. Like putting the turbo on that thing, which I don't regret. But I will admit, probably wasn't the best decision on a 400,000 kilometer daily driver. So, yeah, that's it. Enjoy. Down to the final touches. Not very much left. And I can put this thing in. I think this is pretty much the last step. Plugs are in. New motor mounts. One new motor mount. The other one's still fine. So if I get this in and get it primed up a little bit. See if I can make a mess. Hmm. I was ready to go in. It's been a long week, a lot of work done, and I'm happy to say it's ready to go in. So I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can put it in tonight, but that'll be on the next video because there's still a lot to go yet. Getting it in, hook up all the lines, torque converter, radiator, fluids, all that fun stuff. So thanks for watching, subscribing, have a great night, everybody.